Hiramatsu! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bros and Shows. My name's Christian. We're here to watch Shogun, episode 9. Shit's heating up. Hiramatsu's dead. Uh, he committed seppuku in the last episode, at the end of the last episode, but hopefully that's going to enable um, Toronaga and... Um, Hopefully that's going to enable Toronaga and everybody to continue on uh, with their plan uh, and hopefully go after uh, Osaka and Ochiba and Ishido. I don't know. Last week, a lot of shit happened. It started off with the morning of Natakato, RIP, um, who slipped on a freaking rock and hit his head when he was trying to kill uh, Saiki, uh, whose army is now surrounding Edo. Uh, so the beginning of the episode, we saw uh, a coughing Toronaga, who I speculated was drunk. Turns out he's just sick. I don't know if that's all a show or not. Hasn't been confirmed or denied. Uh, I do think he is sick, but I don't know. Nagakato's funeral procession was kind of controversial because Toronaga didn't show up, and some of the vassals of uh, Toronaga actually showed up in armor in. Um, protest of Toronaga, you know, basically giving up in episode seven. So, you know, following that, we see Mariko get asked by Buntaro to attend a tea ceremony, which was really beautiful. We see Alvido bump into Blackthorn on his way to make a request or confirm his request for a, um, a church in Edo. Uh, so, you know, Buntaro performs this beautiful ceremony, and then there's this moment where he tries to offer up death to her again, and she's like, no, bro, not in a thousand years would that ever give me what I want. Um, it was kind of a wild moment, and just, like, reaffirmed how unbelievable the um, the writing is in this show. It's just it, – it was just so incredible. Then we see John um, – come upon his men and have a fierce moment and like you see this real divide where he's kind of established himself within the japanese culture and kind of you know like in his fresh clean clothes following around toronaga uh, doing whatever he feels like clean and his men are dirty and it's just like this moment where he like kind of leaves them behind after telling them like we've got our ship back we can put it together we can do whatever we want and then uh we see we see Blackthorn go to Yabashige to kind of like, like almost like grovel for his support, and um, Yabe Yabashige refuses because obviously he always thinks that uh, Toronaga has some shit up his sleeve, which I think is a good play to refuse. And then we see, um, we see Jin and um alvito looking at their prospective land and toronaga kind of pulled a fast one on alvito and put him next to the new you know realm of the consorts that will be in edo for Jin, and uh that was just like such a great moment dion dies or is on her you know on her way to die and she pleads for uh ochiba not to ally with uh, ally not to ally with uh um ishido and it was just, like, this, like, really sad, awkward moment. And in the end, she ends up, like, agreeing to his plea for marriage, which is, like, kind of whack. Like, I felt like she held all the power there. But allying with him, I think, just muddies the water even further. But Toronaga assembles all his generals to announce and have them sign a decree that they will all, they will all obey this order to die with him in Osaka and and it and and omi kind of speaks up and it turns into this wild moment where um where hiramatsu you know basically is the catalyst for them to continue this fight and and all the generals and vassals are just shook by him you know committing seppuku and buntaro seconding him and it was just like a really, really gnarly moment. And at the very end of the episode, we see Mariko and Toronaga talking where he reveals Hiramatsu's death and and asks Maruto to to finally do her part in this in this final battle. Um, and I am so hyped for what's about to come. 
Um, I know that was a long couple minutes of breakdown, but I love to do that in the beginning of the episodes because so much happens. I probably miss some stuff when we watch the replay. We'll see it. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, join our Discord, check out all that stuff. We're going to get into the episode. This is Bodie. Come on, Bobo. Come on. Say hi. Come on. Come up here. Say hi. Say hi to people. Hello. Hello. Hello, Bobo. Yeah, you're a good boy. Okay, we're going to watch episode nine. Yeah, man. Sugiyama, RIP, bro. And I wish to forge allegiances. Oh, yeah. Dion asked her to promise to release the hostages, but. That was a quick recap. Recap. Usually they're a little bit uh, slower than that. Oh, is this that moment with Mariko in the snow? Uh, it was like always like really quick flashes. I didn't understand what was happening here. So there's people obviously looking for her. Is she pregnant? Yo, what? Shonai region, 14 years ago. So what is that in relation to our timeline with? Ooh, is this her first meeting? Is this when she like starts um, to, be, to become uh, Christian? Ah, there's the Maria correction. I hate that though, but... Somebody in the comments let me know how long the Portuguese have been there in the current storyline. Because obviously at least 14 years, but it might have been longer. Like 25, 30 years? Dang. So it gives her a cross? This is interesting. This is what keeps her going, maybe? And we're into the intro. Shogun. Chapter 9, Crimson Sky! Is it happening? Well, we're making our approach. Yes. Oh, so they're straight headed for here. Osaka. It has nothing to do with you. Dang, he sent Marco? At the same time. What does that mean? I'm so confused, bro. This is crazy. Ah, your friends are back from Macau with the overpriced silk they traded for criminally underpriced Japanese silver. Good shit talker. Right. Man, what is he up to? What is Toronaga up to sending Mariko via boat ahead? And did he involve Yabushige? <laughs> I bet, bro. I bet she do. Everyone in the castle is now a hostage to Ishido-sama. If a member from every noble family is trapped here, none can oppose him. This is true, but that's the whole play, right? Like, that was what they were trying to do, so. Uh, when I deliver to you the Catholic gold, you won't regret it. Oh, he promised him gold. <laughs> hmm. Oh, we're together again. Get some rest, Anjin Sama. Sema to go to Mosia Kosarimasin. Oto Modono no Mutini. O is a Rishina Kereba Narada Katayu. Toranaka Sama Karananika Kodengo. Oh no, they're gonna find out about Hiramatsu. Uma quick koto Inorimasu. Oh, they got a whole ass plan, dog. <laughs> You are certain it was the heretic. Whole escort of Japos with him. And the lady translator, too. Lady Maria. Mm, your girlfriend. Naga <laughs> <laughs> is planning something. Yeah, he's always planning something. to find out what it is. I do not think the heretic is here on Toronaga's behalf. When I was in Edo, he had been cut loose. 
Korinaga has given up. You are blind to their trickery. This felt different. His most loyal vassal killed himself right in front of him. If John Blackthorne is here, it is only because he is trying to find his own way out. Tempest in the bottle. War is coming. It sure is, bro. It sure is. At least somebody sees it. Might be the only one right now, though. Mm. That's better. Mm. That is some pretty cold drip, though. There's Ido and Saiki, our new regents. お気遣いいたみりまするな。メソもございませんな。こやつは石戸様と迷惑を結びたいと望んでおる。そもそも一人の大名が日の元の銃を独り占めするというのはいいなこと。そうは思われませんか。どうでも構わぬわ。やぶ
私は期日までに我が殿と共に大阪に戻ってまいりまする私たちがここで囚われているのではない限り Bro, straight up to challenge the status quo. Ah, that's crazy, bro. Saredo, Kayo ni Akui no ari kata o nasare no de areba. Tairo shu no sengi ni kakeru no ga washi no sekimu de aro. Sono ho wa do o moare ruka. Do ita shimasu. Yoroshi. Mariko dono ni a sore ma de koko ni todomate i tadaku. Stirring shit up. Damn. Damn it. Wow, bro. Saredo. 私の第一の務めは我が殿にお仕えすることでありその殿から出立するよう申しつかりました辛抱なされよ出立は一刻も遅らせることはできませぬこの件はもうしまいじゃこの件をしまいにするのは私の話を最後まで聞いてからにしてくださりませ私は踏みつけにされる小作人ではござりませぬ偉大なる武将明智人才の娘にございまする千年続く侍の末裔として私はどこに閉じ込められることも人質になることもとらわれることもありませぬ私はいつでも出ていけまする他のどなた様とも同じように Literally there to stir shit up This is dope もう話すことはござらん Yo, Chiba's shook But Chiba doesn't know how to react, bro I don't think she saw this coming Wow, bro ヤブシゲ、ブロ、ユシュレイエクスペクトシムシュレイエクスペクトシムシュレイエクスペクトシムシュレイエクスペクトシムシュレイエクスペクトシムシュレイエクスペクトシムシュレイエクスペクトシム
大坂城を出ることをまかりならぬと石堂様の仰せでございますゆえならば致し方こざりますお切りくだされ Here comes the war, baby. Ooh, we got some badasses on our side here today, boys. Ishido's gonna be pissed. We are leaving now. I don't think you guys want this smoke, bro. Dang, everybody's gathered to witness. And I don't think they want to fight neither. Dang, straight up battle right here. Damn. Wow, bro. Slams to the slaughter. Fuck. And he's just got a whole nother guard behind him. But everybody witnesses what Ishido's up to. He'll just murder people. He does not care, bro. キヤマ様、大野様、この者たちに道を開けるよう命じてくださりませ。その者たちは我らの命は聞かぬ。我らは無力でござる。では、我らの家に反してここに捕らわれていたということでございますね。拙者が評議の場を設けまする。私は虎
私が石蔵殿に助言などできようはずもありませぬがもしマリコ殿を死なせれば大阪による家柄の高い者たちは黙っておりますまい Yep There sure will bro マリコ殿が出ていくことを許せば他の人質も同じことを求めましょう Yeah they fucking will bro 石蔵様の手の者に幽閉される前にかろうじて逃れてまいりましたよろしければご一緒にマリコ様をお待ちしとうござりまする。よおいでくださりました。そう、fucking shame all those men escorting uh all Toranaga's men escorting them。およつぎの君よりお呼び出しじゃ。一見をたまわったのでござる。just like died like that。and now Anjin's here to talk to the air。very interesting。そなたは日の元の言葉をまずまず喋れるそうじゃな。うん。私の言うてることがわかるか。はい。よう来られた。ガイチオ様がハンジンドノトタムレタイトノゾミデナツジモイルエソナタニゴソクロネガタマジャ。She asks of me to translate. It is a ruse to bring me before her. Please let us speak. アンジン様はおよつぎにおめどりを許していただいたお礼を申しておりまする。カケヒキをやめにせよ。カケヒキなどいたしておりませぬ。She's not playing games, dude. Yeah, exactly. She's a duty to Toranaga and she's got vengeance to bring her. She's a duty to Toranaga and she's got vengeance to bring her. She's a duty to Toranaga and she's got vengeance to bring her. そなたは自由の身にはなれぬ。恐れながら思い違いをなさっておられまする。我が殿の望みはこの争いを終わらせることのみにござりまする。アンジン殿に伝えてくれぬ。我らがどのような間柄であったか、アンジン殿にも知ってもらいたい。されど、我らの父は敵同士、親の苦難を子が受け継ぎ、戦の嵐は我らの城にも吹き荒れた。私にはマリコ殿がおった。マリコ殿と過ごすことが。私の喜びであったされどそのマリコ殿は遠くへ行ってしまった生じてのうちこれがあのマリコ殿じゃと言われても私には合点がいかなんだあのマリコ殿が父に殉じて死ぬことだけを望む女子になったとは信じられなんだじゃが今はわかる How would you not believe that bro? Terrible fucking things happened to her family 胸に怒りをためておったのじゃそして今はすべてを滅ぼそうとしておる。I don't know about that, but... このようなこと、お疲れになりませんか。私にどうせよというのか。諦めて無駄死にせよと。カレーだのように、カレーよというのか。そなたがやめよと申されたこの争いを終わらせることができる。This is true! This is very true. But will she? I don't know. のの力はない息子を守る他に生きる意味などないのじゃそなたは自分の真の像をついて自分の息子を守れるのか We should go now. <音声>死を受け入れることすなわち諦めることではござりませぬ花は散るがゆえに花なのでござりますdamn bars bro wow the cut to black is so crazy sometimes his disposal vassals coming out of his kusone it's the mark of a coward to send a woman to do his bidding you misunderstand him no i understand perfectly he's taking advantage of your loyalty your life is worth more than this life and death are the same both can have value and purpose only one is permanent. You have nothing to prove to these people. That's crazy. What a statement. There's no need to die for it. I mean, dude, Hiramatsu proved need. that. It is the very reason my father kept me alive. What I'm asking, what I'm begging, if not for good sense, if not for God, then will you consider living for me? Sorry, but no. Damn, bro. Damn, damn, damn. Isto sama karko den gonga. I don't think you're gonna want to see this one. Isto sama ni otsukai suru kari ni shi o menji de morai taita no moshi de shikato oketa maatta to. Sare do hitotsu jouken ga aru to. What does he request though? All these years, you still have your cross with you. Your mind is set again. Yes, it is. 
I wish to be confessed. Then speak it here. Is she gonna admit that she loves John? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. But I can only confess that I am not worthy to confess. Daughter of God, I wish I could say proper mass for you. But here we have no altar. Bro, this music. Or vestments. Then let us drink chaff. What does his one God. line mean? For all the years we have known each other. And for the little time that is left. Oh, spirit, yes, may no. I'm getting full body chills right now. Where is this going? Yeah! his line in the sand am i supposed to understand this <laughs> damn wearing all white too damn can you imagine wa having to watch your mom do this is he shido gonna butt in and tell him to s tell her to stop no Kiyama to second you. What is John gonna do? Is he gonna do it? Oh, no. I will do it. Hell is no place. I haven't already known. Let it from your mind. Wow, 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 no. Please wait until I have fallen. <sighs> the sound design is insane, bro. No. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh. He's gonna let her go? Damn! What a stunt. Mm。私も帰らせていただきたく道中の無事は受けを手下されたと思って用ございますするのこの城に人質なぞおら Dang, he flips, man. That's crazy. Wow, bro. And John's commitment to her is crazy. Her commitment to the cause. Everyone notices this. Ah, oh, that's weird, though. But, oh, my God. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Now you are without your uh, crucifix, though. Oh, not set to. It's John. Are they gonna make out? Didn't see this coming. Ah! Yes. Wow. Y'all don't got locked doors, though, so be careful what you're doing. But is something going to happen before the night's over, though? And what is Yabushige going to do? <laughs> Dang, I think Yabushige is going to die here. Huh? <laughs> Oh, Yabashige killed him. For what reason, bro?
oh, to let somebody in to assassinate them? Who's he letting in? The freaking Ronin or the the assassins? Oh my god, bro. He turned on them. No. Who did he just kill? Wait, is this is this Toranaga and the homies, or who is this? Or is this the deal he made with Ishido? Yo, either of those things checks out. Oh no, this is his deal with Ishido. Who are they? Shinobi, they have come for me. Yep, fucking ninjas, bro, coming for you. Unsurprising. Yabashiga, you're a real piece of shit. Yo, this is insanity, bro. Oh my god. Fuck you, Yabashige, you meddling piece of shit. Yeah, you are the freaking traitor, bro. Let it come. For God's sake, help me push this against the door. No, Mariko, no, Mariko, no, 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 no. What? No! No! Oh. No! Holy fucking shit, everybody. That was, that was, that was insane. I don't, I'm still processing. Um, so at the end of last episode, uh, my computer crashed, literally crashed as I threw my headphones down. So um, like, right, you'll see the cuts, the difference in lighting. It took me an hour to figure out a way to save the file. Um, and I would have just had to put out a, a review episode because we don't, we don't fake anything around here. And I like, that's just how it would have been. We would have had to skip to episode 10 of the reactions. So Glad that I got to salvage that, but got to do an outro now. So many things, so many things happened. Um, the, we literally, we just watched Mariko explode. Whether or not she died or not, like TBD, I think it's probable. I think it's really probable that she just died. Um, but so we started the episode with Mariko in the snow, being rescued, meeting Alvito for the first time, showing the origination of their 14 year relationship and her, her, um, introduction to christianity uh and then cut to yabashige blackthorn and mariko arriving in osaka to start the plan um i lost my shit when i found out that this episode was titled crimson sky because i was like oh shit it's going down turns out it was going down the opposite way that i thought it was um uh, basically um 
they showed up with the intention to pledge like to Ishido. At least Yabushige did. Um, and uh, Ishido's like, nah, sorry, bruh. Um, no thanks, I don't want your present. Mariko then captures the court and is basically just like, yo, like, um, like I'm just here to tell you what's good, basically. Um, I'm here to pick up, like, Toronaga's ladies, and I'm fucking leaving, and that's what's going to happen. Because, like, we're not prisoners here, right? And, like, basically all to prove the point that everyone, all the lords and everyone who's held there is, they're, they're all prisoners. Like, they are all, they are all being held against their will. And basically, like, Mariko's like, um, if you don't let us leave, well, actually, no, hold on. Uh, Mariko then goes to leave the next day, and 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 all all of the the men, all of the samurai in her party get annihilated by um, by Ishida's men. Uh, and then Mariko fights, and then basically proclaims like I'm gonna kill myself at sunset. Um, like we can't defeat them. There's too many of them. And and like it was just like such a wild fucking moment. And she asked, uh, she asked Kiyama to be her second so that she didn't have to go to hell. Like, oh, it was just insane. Um, so the regents are in a stalemate. Basically, they face disaster no matter what happens. Um, like, if they let her go, then everybody else is going to ask to be let go. But if they let her kill herself, then everybody's out. Everybody else is still going to get asked to let go because, like, then, you know, like, everybody's going to turn on them. Like, the, the regions are fucked no matter what. So you can tell Ishido starts scheming, and eventually you see his plan come to culmination. Uh, Ochiba organizes this private meeting between uh, her and Blackthorn. Well, Blackthorn in the air, which is really just for Mariko to talk to Ochiba. And it just like, was, like, this que this weird, like roundabout um you know roundabout uh like conversation and connection and and it was just strange and like very odd and then yabashige gets word that like ishido has taken him up on his offer and has accepted that um accepted it but under a condition um and so Kiyama refuses to second Mariko. Mariko goes to kill herself in one of the most beautifully set scenes in the entire show. It was so gorgeous. And she, like, talks to Alvito before to confess. And then, um, like, right as she's about to kill herself, Ishido barges in and is like, no, here's your permit. You can leave. Turns out it's all a fucking ploy because he sends a bunch of shinobi there to kill her. Ah, okay. So, time out. So before that, Mariko and John have a beautiful makeout sesh and it's like this somber reunion. And then all, then it turns out Yabashige's condition was that he had to betray them and let, um, let the Shinobi in to, to the castle. And then they murder all these people and they get, they hide, they, they get away. John fucking shoots a bunch of people in the face. They get away into the storage shed. And, and then they start to blow it up. Yabashige refuses to help John move this giant case to help block the door. And Mariko like, says, this is how I'm going to go out. This is how everybody's going to know. In an act of protest, like, this is how everybody's going to know that they're all being held there. And then blows up into the room as John fucking watches. And, and uh, Toronaga's ladies watch. And Yabashige's piece of shit ass watches. And I love him, but he's the fucking worst. Ah! So a lot of things happened. Like it was just, it honestly, was one of the more beautiful episodes. The sound design around Mariko and her, like uh, the scene setting of the seppuku, was unbelievable. John stepping up to second her because Harimia like didn't show up. Like, oh my god, it's 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 hard to like run this all back and and be as emotional as I was an hour ago. Like you saw me throw down my headphones. Like that shit fucked me up. Like I I cannot absolutely cannot wait for the finale and i hope they do a long one i hope it's like an hour and a half it'll probably be an hour but 
like what an incredible fucking show like the there's there's so much that i miss every episode because there's so much going on this was this might have been the first episode that we saw no toranaga i think um i don't know if we saw any of him in episode one i can thinking back i think we probably did no we definitely did um but yeah this was the first like no toranaga episode um all osaka uh minus like the flashbacks um i can't tell what the deal is with ochiba like i can't tell like i think she may end up siding with toranaga and realizing that ishido's a huge piece of shit um, and I think Ishido's at the end of the day, just using her again for that relationship. And now that like the court is like behind him, like, I don't know how much more leverage she has. I got a feeling like the heir is going to get an attempt on his life. And she, even though she said like her, she, ex her sole reason to exist is to protect him. Like, I don't know if that's even, I don't know if that's going to be possible. So like, I, I i don't even know what else to say like what a wild fucking episode this show is absolutely fucking incredible the drip in this episode was probably the best out of um out of any of the episodes like f like for real um mariko's battle was so sick it was the first time that i've ever heard of like women's ritual i'll have to bleep that ritual seppuku bro like wild i didn't i thought that was just mostly not to be sexist but i thought it was mostly like you know the men in in battle or or for you know political reasons or whatever but like holy shit dude i feel like we might get a resolution in the next episode of the the main priest guy um and how he knows toranaga's up to something when Tornaga finds out about Ishido preventing them from leaving and making an explosion, like, I can't wait. Like, I feel like everything's going to come to some sort of culminus and, like, the Great War will start in the next episode. And I think that leaves room for a second season. Um, I don't know. I Honestly, just, like, talking about it again for 10 minutes has left me, like, shook. And I cannot wait to watch the next episode. So... As always, this has been Bros and Shows. This is Bean. She was a real menace in the episode. She kept crawling on my desk. Um, we love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let us know how we did in the reaction. Let us know anything that I might have missed, which is probably a lot. Um, because it's just like so hard to catch everything in such a good show like this. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you coming out. Watch the rest of the reactions if you haven't. And recommend some shows because we're getting towards the end of this, uh, towards the end of this series. And um, we're going to need something else to watch. Oh, yeah. She says, you're done. We're done. Make sure you brush your teeth. See ya. It's beat.